Hoover Zoo is preparing to make a big stink over a flower with a foul odor. It's the first of its kind to reach the Rocky Mountain region and is drawing crowds. Ariel Wessler sniffed out the three stories that you will want to share across America. At number one, there's something rotten in the Rockies. This flower at the Denver Botanic Gardens will soon smell like rotting flesh. Fans have been anxiously awaiting for the flower to burst into a purple and yellow bloom with its world-famous odor. At times, the smell has been compared to a decomposing animal, rotting fish, stinky cheese, and garbage. I caught like a little whiff and went, whoa! But you won't have much time to check it out. The bloom and stench will only last about two days. Then the flower may not bloom again for another two to ten years. At number two, a rare sight at the Cincinnati Zoo. I don't know of any other zoos really that have a dog specifically for a nursery. Among the animals, you'll find Blakely, an Australian shepherd. His job, watching over animals who were abandoned by their mothers. He spends lots of time with the babies when they're little. He teaches them how to have appropriate behavior. Right now, the five-year-old canine is caring for a talkin, a goat antelope type animal from East Asia named Dale. Blakely came to the zoo from a local rescue shelter when he was just seven months old. He's the zoo's official animal caretaker and even has his own business card. At number three, the return of Old Man Winter. The old farmer's almanac has made its annual winter predictions and they're not pretty. The almanac is calling for a slew of snow for much of the country, even in places that don't normally get it, like the Pacific Northwest. You can expect above normal snow levels for New England and more frigid temperatures for the Midwest. Meteorologists generally discount the almanac's forecasts as too unscientific to take seriously, but maybe have a snow shovel ready just in case.